Let's get right to it. The first data certification that Google created was the Google Data Engineering Certification. Now, don't get certification confused with those worthless certificates of completion. I said certification. Why did they do this? Not only was this their first data certification, many of the questions were about machine learning. This must have been a mistake on Google's part. Why would a data engineering certification be so machine learning centric? Most who think they're learning machine learning are clueless. They have no idea what the job looks like in the real world. And because of that, they have no chance of attaining a job. I like to show people live jobs. And then I ask them, why does this company have the skills listed as their most important? Here's a machine learning engineering role at Home Depot. Could you explain why Home Depot listed these two skills as their top skills for machine learning engineers? How could those two possibly be at the top? Isn't machine learning all about modeling and math? <laughs> no, not in the real world, it's not. If you were to ask most people to tell me about this role, they couldn't. If I were to ask a machine learning engineer in the real world, why are these two the most important skills? They'd say, the data they are modeling is housed in relational databases. That's it. That's the answer. Machine learning is about sourcing and cleansing data. It's not about modeling. Here's a faker science role at Starbucks. The top three skills they want for their faker scientists are SQL, ETL, and AWS. Again, if you ask most people to explain why, they couldn't. Here's the answer. They are building their models from relational data and other data stores. They are creating ETL jobs to automate the entire ML process, and they're doing all this in AWS. I've said before, the future of machine learning is automation. I'll put a link to a video I did in the comment section about ML ops. These jobs aren't outliers. These two examples are the direction of applied machine learning. Before the explosion of the faker scientists, the BI types in the rural world doing all the data mining were data professionals. Machine learning is headed in this direction. All right, let's get back to our original question. Why does a Google certified data engineer have so many machine learning questions on them? The simple answer is Google believes the role of the machine learning engineer will eventually land on the lap of the data engineer. In the very near future, most machine learning jobs will be 10% machine learning and 90% data pipelines. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and have a great day. We'll see you soon.